Hi, Hiram here. Let me get this test started and then I'll talk about it because my water's at temperature here. Basically what I'm doing here is a repeat of the last test where I put carbon felt inside the uh, IsoClean 2.0 stove from Flat Cat Gear. Okay, that's going. Two cups of water starting at 62 degrees. 62. Okay, what I'm doing, this is basically the same test as the last one, and but instead of 20 milliliters, I put 30 milliliters of heat in this. What had happened the first time was when I, the burn started, I guess there wasn't as much of the fuel in there, so the carbon felt was glowing like it's running out, but then as it went, the flame started coming out of the holes. So that was 20 milliliters. I want to try 30, giving it a little bit more. That's one fluid ounce. And see what happens with this one. So let's just see where this goes. We are now two minutes into the test. Temperature is only up to 197. But now as you can see, these outside, the uh, ports on this are starting to light up. Somebody had mentioned that this is a lot like a cat stove which is true but it's not what I expected since on a cat stove you put the pot right on the burner which then forces the jets out this is all open so there's no pressure behind the carbon felt to make this come out but let's see where this goes from here we have 210 211 Emma. 212 and 556. That was two cups of water starting at 62 degrees. Got to a boil in 5 minutes 56 seconds. That's about 7 seconds longer than it took last time. But let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, we're going. You can maybe, hopefully, in this camera, you can see the glowing carbon felt. That usually means it's starting to dry out but we're going 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 okay let's say gone at 917 okay interesting so that was two cups of water in this test, two cups of water starting at 62 degrees, got to a boil in 5 minutes 56 seconds, and then ran out at 9 minutes 17 seconds. On the, That was with 30 milliliters of heat. On the previous test, I only used 20 milliliters, and uh, that came two cups of water at 62 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 49 seconds so this took 7 seconds more and av take average of that it's almost the same thing but the run out before was 6 minutes 58 seconds run out now was 9 minutes 17 seconds so it may bring the water up to boil at about the same time with the additional uh, fuel but it does give you a little bit of extra time for your cooking or whatever and uh, I could have put a whole lot more in there. The 30 milliliters just barely covered the bottom because most of it went up in the wick. Now I do think, I don't know, my aluminum ring that I'm using, that was the first mod that I did with this in order to bring the pot up a little bit from the burner. I just used uh, a ring cut from a coddle, a, one of those beer can bottles. You know, like this. But I just put it on my Dremel and cut a ring from it. I think it would be safer to use some sort of a tin ring or stainless steel if you could get it. But that all seems to be working. So this makes this ISO Clean Stove, Flat Cat Gears ISO Clean 2.0 isopropyl stove into a multi fuel stove. Another thing that I see here, 
it does indeed look like the carbon felt is shrinking with the burn so it's a little bit smaller than it's pulling away from the walls maybe when that cools off I'll take it out and measure it and see what it does okay so I don't know I think it looks like a good use for that so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now